It makes me so mad when someone takes the smallest detail of someone and uses that as an excuse to be like, oh, you're not normal, sorry. Welcome back to the Junior Mints Podcast. As you can see, I'm using a different microphone. My name is Finn Lawler. Uh, I'm your host. And uh, what we're going to touch upon today is a little on the more serious side of things, like it's one of those it's one of those topics that like is sort of overlooked and most often always ignored we are going to be asking the question of does discrimination mean or is discrimination the same thing as as dehumanization so it's kind of a touchy subject right now but If you don't want to endure my thoughts and opinions on the issue, feel free to click away and I'll see you next week. Anyway, so a basic definition, or or two main definitions, or terms, I mean, discrimination and dehumanization, right? And before we get any further, any farther, further, whatever, I would just like to point out that I got this idea from another podcast known as the Salty Pastor Podcast. I'll link th- I'll link it below, and they go into more detail and stuff like that, but go check them out. It's, it's fantastic. Anyway, so a basic definition of um, dehumanization can be defined as like saying someone, like let's say that someone has like down syndrome or something or or like they're born with like autism or something right then it's like dehumanization is basically saying oh just because they're born with that specific trait means they're less than human now it's like hold on that is so dumb we're all human aren't we like that's ridiculous saying someone's not human just because they're born with a few a few chromosomes shuffled around or something it's like who cares you know and it's like yeah i agree this is a this is a it's a very hot take i understand i'm just i'm just voicing my opinion on it you don't have to um you don't have to agree with me i'm just stating what i've seen and like so so that leads me to a, a lar- a larger question if if the concept of like dehumanizing someone can go beyond like disability dis- disabilities then like what's to say that m- people can't that we can't bring race into this right like and that's where the question of is racial discrimination known as dehumanization and I yes yeah there's no hesitation about that that it, it it is like and again I'm sorry for this hot take this is just how I'm feeling and it's like this is this issue sort of needs to be addressed and have a light sh- like shine shined on it shine on it? I don't know but it's like it's like oh because this person is like Chinese, which means they're not human. I'm like, what in the world are you talking? Or like, bear with me here. Bear with me. Um, or like, if the person is a person of color from like the Congo or something, I don't know. Then are you suggesting that they're not human because of the color of their skin? That's bullcrap. Is what it is. Are we're all? But think about this. Um. We're all humans that walk this earth, right? We all walk this earth. Whether we have a different skin color or not, that is irrelevant. I I, I think that like let's or let's let's use ethnicity for this next example. The a person's ethnicity should not determine if they're human or not. I'll I'll say that again, just so you guys can sort of let that sit. A person's ethnicity is not the thing that makes them human. 
I might have butchered that a little bit, but my point is, let me say it a third time. A person's ethnicity does not, is not the only thing. I'll say it in a, in a in, sorry, sibling. I'll say it in a different way. A person's ethnicity is not the main trait that determines if the person is human or not. We are all humans that walk this earth, and you just have to live with it. The sooner you got, the sooner who, whoever needs to hear this, and apparently whoever is dehumanizing people, and there are people who do that, who do that. Whoever needs to hear this, like, we're all human, okay? That's like that's like me saying, um, it's like that's like saying, oh, like, are you gonna dehumanize me? Just because I'm on the taller side? Think about that. Hopefully I'm making sense. But like, we're all human, you know? And it's like, you, the same way of saying, um, oh man, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I should go into this, but I'm going to anyway. Let's say if a person wants to transition from male to female or female to male vice versa whatever let's say they want to do that and someone just goes oh you're 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 going you're, you want to transition well blah, blah, blah. and they like give them crap for they they and this is where dehumanizing comes in again it's like they're dehumanizing the person like they're they're saying that that person who wants to go from male to female isn't human because they're not normal what Wait a minute. Hold on. What what are you talking about? You, no, that's not that's not it at all. No, like listen. If a person wants to transition from male to female, female to male, let them do it. You know? I'm just saying. And I'm mainly talking to those I'm I'm talking to those people who are just being jerks about it and just being like, "Oh, well, if they're not this way, then they're not a human, or they're not normal. I'm like, are, are you kidding me? You know what I'm saying? Like, sorry, it's, it, it really just, it grinds my gears when someone takes something so, like, uh, this, this is, mm, it makes me so mad when someone takes the smallest detail of someone and uses that as an excuse to be like, oh, you're not normal, sorry. Excuse me? Are you are you kidding me? Everyone's human. I'm just saying. We can all live like a happier existence if if we stop saying that like it's like, oh, well, this person's not a straight white male. Be male That makes them not normal. Or like, in like not a human. I I'm like, are, are you joking right now? Come on. They're there for a reason. And they're humans. Just like you. Just like me. Just like everybody on this very large marble. So stop. To, the, to all those people, again who are constantly and I know this is a hot take and I apologize to all those people who are being respectful but what I'm not sorry for is just don't be don't be a dick it's it's plain and simple don't be a dick be nice to people gosh darn it we're all humans how many times do I have to say we're all freaking humans and that kind of leads me to my last point before I want to close out this episode is if people like I don't know if this is a good segue into it but if you're not sure about something whether it's oh gosh whether it's <laughs> like religion or something or politics or or and this is the extreme stuff or like just maybe like maybe there are people maybe like you're you want to do some research about like let's say the LGBTQ community or something just just says because that's a very common thing now, right? And let's say you want to let's say you want to know more about it, right? What is the correct what is the the right thing to do in that uh, scenario? You got to just do some research on the topic. And and that could be said for anything like um 
Like, if you're not sure about something and you're scared of it for, for some reason, I don't know. I don't know why you would be scared of it. But if you're not sure about it or like you don't know a lot of stuff about it, just do your freaking research, man. It's not hard. Not hard. So. Yeah, so at that point, it's kind of just educate yourself, you know, and I'm not, again, I'm not, scold- in this, in this sort of top, uh, uh, topic, I'm not, like, I'm just saying, like, just read into it. If you're not sure about something, look into it. If you're scared of the unknown about a topic or something, look into it. Uh, I think that's it, actually. Just... If it's like an issue that you want to know, want to know more about, look into it. I think you'll be happy that you did. So, just to recap on this episode of Junior Mints, which happens to be episode sixty-six, <laughs> um, we talked about how dehumanization is one of those issues that is overlooked, and it, believe me, it is. We also talked about how we all, we actually we answered the question of does discrimination equal dehumanization and, and the answer is yes it's not going to be no it's always going to be yes just my opinion just my opinion and, and just from, from what I've seen and we also discussed briefly the concept of educating ourselves doing research about topics and just looking into it in general and uh, I will link the the podcast down below for, from where I got this episode theme and topic. Uh, go check out the Salty Pastor podcast. It's it's a pretty nif- pretty nifty podcast. I um I did some work on it a couple times, so go check it out. It's pre- it's pretty good. It's pretty like eye opening too. Anyway, uh, this has been the Junior Mints podcast. I have been your host Finn Lawler. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and listening to the Junior Mints Podcast. Uh, episodes come out every Friday. Videos also come out on Wednesday sometimes. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys again so much. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.